The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected one, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. Hello everyone, it's Queen V9 back to you with another video. This video pertains to the unfortunate kidnapping turned unaliving of Patrice Wilson, who was not only a nurse but a mother, a daughter, a granddaughter, and a community member. Before I get into the news and my commentary, I would like to extend my condolences to the Wilson family as you begin the grieving process of your loved one. I cannot begin to imagine the hurt and pain Patrice Wilson's child and family is currently experiencing without her this past Mother's Day. According to reports, Patrice Wilson was kidnapped while leaving her job at the Detroit Medical Center Saturday morning. Reports would go on to state that the suspect, Jameer Miller, abducted Wilson in the Detroit Medical Center parking area as she was entering her car and forcing her to leave with him. The car then traveled south towards I-75 and Mack Avenue in a black 2020 Lincoln Natalis. The suspect, Jameer Miller, remains wanted for kidnapping in this case and is considered armed and dangerous. Reports also claim that Miller was last seen wearing a blonde wig as he fled the kidnapping scene with Patrice Wilson. Reports would later state that Patrice Wilson's body was unfortunately discovered in a SUV parked at an apartment complex in Novi with a wound. Though officers have not confirmed her Unaliving, the Detroit Medical Center have issued a statement of condolences, in which I will read in part. It is with deep sadness that we offer heartfelt condolences to the family, friends, and DMC colleagues of Cherish Nurse Leader Patrice Wilson and went on to continue. Patrice was not just a co-worker but a loving friend to many at the DMC. Officers are still seeking Miller by calling 313-596-2260 or 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Again, authorities need the public's help by finding Miller by calling 313-596-2260 or 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Now you will watch this brief news clip and I will be back with my commentary. Please, find him. Don't let him get away with this. She didn't deserve it. A manhunt is underway tonight to find this man in connection to her kidnapping. It's a tragic Mother's Day for the family of 29-year-old Patrice Wilson. Thanks for joining us. I'm Will Jones. And I'm Priya Mann, in for Pamela Osborne. After Patrice Wilson's shift Saturday morning, police say Jameer Miller approached her as she was getting into her SUV, forced her over, and fled with her inside. Police discovered Wilson's body last night in the parking lot of her Novi apartment complex. Her family still has so many questions. The biggest one, 
Why has he not been found? Megan Wood spoke with them about what these nearly 36 hours have been like. Her son cannot hold her and say happy Mother's Day to her today. That bothers me. And Patrice's mom, Rosalind Livingston, wants it to bother you too, so much that you help them find Jameer Miller. Police consider him armed and dangerous. Rosalind says the two used to date. She dated him for a while, and she been trying to get away from him because she know he was toxic for her. I been told him. A mother, mother knows. She even shared with us this viral video of what's believed to be Jameer outside of Patrice's home in 2021. You breaking in my house, Jameer? Now, as a mother who had to see her daughter at the morgue today, she says, Yeah, I can't say the perpetrator name because you took the life out of her. And I've seen it today. She tries to think of happier times. She was even thinking about going back to school. And I was like, oh, what you gonna be an anesthesiologist nurse? You gonna be making that money, girl. But then it hits that she's gone. Patrice's grandmother, Pamela Golden, can't make sense of it. She knew what she wanted to do, how she wanted to do. She was a good girl. She didn't deserve this. She definitely didn't deserve this. Someone knows something. They're sure of it. I need the streets to talk. We need to find the person who killed Patrice so she can have some justice. If you have any information, you're asked to call 1 800 Crime Stoppers or Detroit Police Department. In Detroit, Megan Woods, Local 4. All right, thank you, Megan. Again, take a look at your screen. Police are also looking for 36-year-old Jameer Miller. Investigators are looking for a black 2020 Lincoln Knot List with Michigan license plate number OPKS20. Anyone with information is asked to call police right away or submit tips anonymously through Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Meantime, Detroit Medical Center released a statement tonight. It reads, it is with deep sadness that we offer heartfelt condolences to the family, friends, and DMC colleagues of cherished nurse leader Patrice Wilson, as well as Patrice's mother, another dedicated DMC team member. Patrice was not just a coworker, but a loving friend to many at the DMC. Grief counseling is available for all staff at our adult central campus hospitals. It is unfortunate that the Wilson family will have to experience this form of grief due to the act of one man. There is approximately 8 billion people in the world. I don't understand what is so hard about moving on. I've said this before and I will say it again. Black women do not owe you their time, their grace, their space, their love, their bodies, if the relationship is no longer working and it is over, it is okay to move on. And I will say this again. It is okay to grow and to evolve and to move on. There is no harm in that. I don't understand what type of thinking you have to be the judge, jury, and executioner of someone that you've had intimate moments with. I don't understand. This is not love. This is definitely hate and venom wrapped into one. You do not own Miss Wilson. Miss Wilson was living her life being a nurse, being a mother, being a daughter, being a granddaughter, being a community member. And you took it upon yourself by taking her out because she no longer wanted to be with you. And anyone who is harboring Miller, I want you to understand. If he can be this heartless to the woman he claimed that he loved and cared for, 
understand this. He will not hesitate to taking you out when he sees that you are no value to him anymore. Time and time again, we are coming to the same conclusion that black women are not being protected during and after a toxic relationship. It is unfortunate that 40% of black women will experience domestic violence with another 56% of black women losing their lives to their current or former partners. Our neighbors, our sisters, our aunties, our co-workers' lives are in danger and it is time for all of us to ensure that if we see something, we say something. And if our loved ones, friends, come to us in confidence and explain of allegations of abuse, it is up to us to take those allegations seriously and not dismissing these allegations due to your own biases. We must take these allegations seriously. This is not the time to sit on the sidelines as persons within our communities are continuously losing their lives due to domestic violence. Domestic violence not only affects the victim, but the persons around them during this horrendous incident. And if we continue to play into the biases and dismissal of domestic violence, we will continuously come to the same results. Domestic violence does not care about status, financial background, or educational background. It is all about power and control. And we must ensure that our loved ones are being protected. Protect black women should not only be a slogan, but it should be a way of life within every community. I will leave in the comments and description below for hotlines and organizations as it pertains to domestic violence. In addition to information about calling authorities on Miller's location. Once again, say their names, known and unknown. Protect black mothers. Say her name, Patrice Wilson. Justice for Patrice Wilson. And as always, please be safe out here and I will see you in the next video.